Hi, welcome to Film Cam for Kids and Youth, and today we're going to be talking about ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. So let's start with shutter speed. What is it? It's the amount of time the camera shutter is open, exposing light to the sensor. Using a long or slow shutter speed captures movement because of how long the shutter is open for. It's usually used to capture cars or water, or anything you intentionally want to have a blur of motion for. When using a short or fast shutter speed, it does the opposite. It freezes the object in motion, so you get a crisp and clear picture. The exposure, which is how light or dark something is, is going to be affected by this too, depending on how long your shutter is open for. The longer it's open, the more light is going to be coming through. Let's move on to aperture. Aperture is the lens which light travels through to enter the camera. It's almost like our eyes. Our pupils shrink and expand depending on the environment we're in and depending on how dark or light it is. But the large aperture means there's a short depth of field, meaning only a little bit is in focus. Meanwhile, when there's a small aperture, everything will be in focus. And this is all indicated by numbers called f-stops. The bigger the number, the smaller the hole. This also affects exposure, just like the shutter speed. The bigger the aperture, the more light that's going to be let through. Now on to ISO. This refers to the camera's sensitivity to light. ISO is measured in numbers. It could be 100, 400, 800, and all the way up. Increasing the ISO makes the camera more sensitive to light, which means things are going to be more brighter, but it comes with a catch. The more sensitive it gets, the more grainier a picture will become. Increasing your ISO is really helpful when you're filming in low light conditions. Or, if you have a fast shutter speed and a high f-stop, increasing your ISO can make things a little bit more brighter for you. Through this video, I hope you learned a little bit about ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. To learn more, visit filmcampforkids.com.